Good evening, everyone. Welcome to ILM Traders and Trade UI. We'll focus on how to read option flows. Quickly, I'll let me know what to do. I kind of understand this top stuff. I see the flow and whatnot. Um, you know, the top sweeper that comes in and all that. Now, this is where I've been seeing a lot of the good stuff that's been happening with me. Okay. Uh, when I see like bunch of flow, like, you know, if I see more than two in the same strike, same, um, that's what I have been very profitable mostly. Now, what kind of gets me kind of confused? I remember I asked you if it's a buy, sell, bid, ask, whatever. Let's say any one of these, right? Because I mean, this is pretty straightforward, right? 28, 35, May 29, blah, blah. So they did above ask. So they're bullish, right? Right. Right. Because they had ask sold. Now, if I look at on the trade side, it's talk about bullish, bullish. But what I sometimes I get confused seeing, um, let me see, seeing on this one here is, so let's say this one is, right? Even though the colors are like what, buy or sell, or is it more from um, what they put? So yeah, obviously it's called, so green is called, red is put, right? Yeah. So for example, this one, they have 215 June 10, which is kind of like a bullish play, I, I, I would guess, right? Um, on this one, let me see, I'm trying to scroll. Um, so this tells you, now what is this bearish thing? Because I think they're selling it something below bid, right? That's yeah. What Okay, that's where I sometimes I get confused. Even though it's green, right? Right, but the green does not say does not mean it's uh, uh, so green means it's called. It doesn't uh, mean ah, 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 ah. Yeah, scroll all the way to the right. Scroll all the way to the right. Yeah, that's why you know I was confused. No, I, no, no, to the right, to the right. I, I see it. I see. No, like I want to see the table, the full table. It says bearish. Uh, yeah, I removed the field, but no, yeah, the so. So the sentiment is an algorithm that tries to figure out if those calls or puts are bearish or bullish as far as the stock direction. Direction. The the green means calls. The put. The red means puts. So okay. the top sweepers again. If it's red, it means that there there are more puts than calls. If it's uh, green, it means that there are more calls. And by more, double or more. So a hundred percent. More. Okay, okay, okay. So this is what this is why I think from last time I kind of mixed up the variation in terms of when I was trying to understand it. Now, yeah, I am it's gonna... already a lot of stuff as you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of it. So I'm trying to squeeze out space, so I use red and green to do calls or puts instead of okay. Because you know, we had a field. So I'm making a note of a green is call. Okay. Put obviously red is put. Um, you know what I was thinking before? I was thinking green is buy, obviously call and sell is put. That's what I was thinking. But maybe that's where I kind of screw up a couple of the trades. And then here below bid, right? That means they're selling calls. Uh, yeah, they mean that means they're, they're closing out or they're selling calls. Either either closing out or selling, as in selling to make money. So either or. Closing out or selling. Okay, let, that's why. Because you can also sell it to make money. So it expires. Right. So, yeah, yeah. They sell calls. So expecting is going to come down. They're going to sell it. They're going to close out the position with profit. Yep. Okay, selling out. Perfect. Okay, below bid. And Evob ask is is the opposite, right? Yeah, so above ask is very, it's very bullish usually. Very bullish, okay. And what about- And, those, and the average fail is calculated by the, by, by the algo, and then the fail comes from the vendor. So the vendor technically, when it's a sweep, they just report on the last orders. And the last orders, if it's very aggressive, they're gonna be picked on the ask or if it's closing, they're picked on the bid. But the average fill, we take the number of contracts and the price uh, and the premium paid, and we divide we divide the price paid, the premium, the total. Let's say it's a thousand dollars. 
and then there are 10 contracts and we divide a uh, thousand by, by 10. 10 it's 100 yeah so that's then it's 100 the... then we figure out a hundred if it's near the bid the mid or the ask which one is it closer to and that, that's why it's it's technically like the average fill you know if that's yeah average, yeah, fill, yeah. average fill that's right. no no, no I, I look at this this too i started looking at this because i think i took a trade that went completely against me thinking you know it was a straight call uh but i forgot to look at the below bid and, and above ask. so this these are bullish above ask ask is bullish yeah. like above, literally i look at i look at if it's not ask or above ask uh i i don't day trade it you know like swing maybe you could look mm -hmm. at like if there are earnings maybe today the stock is down and then yeah. 30 days from now, it's going to go back up. But if it's day trade, I need to see ask or above ask. And I need to see like at least two or three of them. Then I'll jump in. Because remember, gotcha. these guys can be wrong too. You know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. It's trade nothing. Trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like... Now you're saying, so if you see something like that, for example, right? So here is the one. They're selling ask. It says bearish. So this probably a more like a... A red one. Let me see. Yeah, it is a red one. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, okay. I'm I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, bearish, bearish. Okay, that's fine. Bullish. Okay, that's fine. So this is what I need to look at. If I see the same one, and then ever bid, that means they are selling it, right? This looks like bearish. Bearish is the same right. one. So anything. Right, so it's a little bit above the bid. So technically, it's not mid yet, but it's it's between the mid and the bid. It's above the bid, below the mid. Above the mid, so that they're still bearish. That looks still bearish. Okay. Yeah, that's not you know. Yeah, that's not the greatest. So like, if it's eleven, so look, it's um, you, you look at the price. So eleven. Uh, well, the price that's actually the price that they gave us. But if you look at the bid, eleven fifty three, and then if you if you do the math, probably it's gonna be eleven fifty four or eleven fifty five. So 11 at a roundish, yeah, at a roundish number. Yeah, I see it. Right, and it's gonna be closer to the bid than the mid. I, I, it, literally, the algo calculates the distance on the average. It calculates the distance. So if it's close to the bid, it would, mm -hmm. and it's above it, it would say above bid. If it's closer to the mid and below, instead of above bid, it'll say below mid. So whichever one is closer, the mm -hmm. the closer the number, the it's gonna label it based on how the the distance, you know. So right, that way, right, it's right. very accurate, and that was the point from average fill. Okay. Yeah, that closed out my confusion on that portion. Thank you very much. So that's top. Now the ribbon here, the top sweeper, obviously, if it's red, it means, uh, what does it mean for you? Because I see red, green, and purple. So mostly call flow, obviously, or is it 100 times more? Is it times whatever? This one. Yeah, so the red is double. So if you look, if you go to the right side, there is a little icon with a question mark. If you click on it, that should technically tell you that. Because I some of them I forgot to be honest with you, but this one, uh, yeah. So yeah, green if the call total is 100%, the put total or bigger. Red uh, if the here, here. Total, yeah, so they're all labeled there because I, there is so much stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I know, I know. Even, you can, I, I no, 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 I like the label. Myself. Yeah. The label always looks so if it's red, always doubles um, times two. That means uh, obviously puts, okay. And then, yeah, so let's say let's say one of them got 10 calls and then five puts, then that's mm -hmm. gonna be green. If you got yeah. nine calls, nine calls and five and, puts, that's gonna be purple. What I'm trying to do here is show you that it's the calls are significantly larger. So, like for Neo. 40 to 26, it's a little bit on the mixed side. It's about double, but you know, uh -huh. if, it, it, if you look at, for example, C, Citibank, then you have 20 over four. That's very bullish, you know? Wait, wait, so explain the purple one to me. You said purple is not a double, but it's, it's almost in between. in between. Okay, okay. So green, green is double call side. Yeah. And then red side put is double and, and purple is in between, okay and purple in between okay yeah because it's not really double it's 26 26 about 50 something so yeah it's 52. getting there but yeah the rule the code is pretty much looking for double if it's double it's double it's not double you know got it got it because a lot, lot of time i usually go for when i see green like 22 calls zero puts i usually go with those when i pull it up i want to see what they're hitting the number at right yeah. so that's our kind of average of what's been 
that's been helpful because I did not understand um, how does some of these stuff were kind of feeding into because BMY, wow, this is very bullish. Oh, good thing I noticed. February 19th, they're expecting a pump. So someone knows something's coming. Yeah, okay. usually I add those to my, I have like a crazy watch list every day. And what I do, that's why how I'm always winning. I don't honestly, I don't participate in the fuss. Like when everyone is like, oh, look at this, look at that. I don't, I, I just say yes, yes. I don't usually pay attention. What I do, I have a watch list based on things that I verified. Like this, for example, you showed it to me. Now I added it. So then I will wait for it to get a nudge, either in volume or in news. You see? And then that day I will get in at the open and I'll trade that first pop. And I'll go like so typically you do trade it when the day after when you see these or the day off whenever it moves. I don't honestly care. You know, I don't I don't care. Um, I don't care. You know, like I don't just I just don't don't I don't bother. Like I add a bunch and I just sit down and I don't worry about it. So whenever it moves, when I wake up, I take a look at pre-market and I see I'm like, oh, well, BMY just got a bank upgrade. You know what I mean? Then I'm like, mm -hmm. OK, so you're saying. You earlier you said for day trade you look at straight above ask right anything that comes into the feed. If you want a day trade, right? Yeah, if you want a day trade, then you want it to be expiring right away, not set thirty seven days. That's far. No, no, that's far. Let's say yeah, if that's a watch list item. Okay, okay. So let's say if I see some. Okay, let me clear this out. So yeah, that's a good thing that you reminded me. Let me clear this out. So, no, these are a bunch of them. So if I could short by expiration, um, I don't want to see expiration 13. So a lot of spy stuff, right? So ask, ask, as bid. Yeah, so I remove, this... I do ETFs, you know, like I remove ETFs usually. I don't even look at them. Oh, no, no, no I'm just saying for, yeah. Yeah. okay, let's say example, give, I'm just using this as an example. So let's say if you see this here, ever ask, that's a call at 379 that just hit 359, right? At four o'clock, whatever. So they're expecting some push up, you know, happening tomorrow, expiring 13, which is literally to actually it was today. So this expired today. I'm looking at spy chart on my end. Oh yeah, it actually closed at 370. I don't know why they took it right at the money. And if oh, it went up, went up a bit after market okay so things like that or or give tell me where to click i'll i'll pick up something if i want a day trade versus i want to swing uh, yeah i think that's pretty much i just look at that and then i look at the expected move i don't i don't i don't do 0% stuff at all i don't even look at it when when you say 0% what are you talking about is it expected move percent move oh percent move okay 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 Okay, okay, I see, I yeah. see what you're that saying. Was that was that, that column I created for myself, technically. I mean, it works. Really well. So, <laughs> so yeah. what's, what's a good percentage if it's... It depends on the, on, it depends on the equity, you know, again. So you're not going to expect to see 3% move on, uh, on Apple every day. So if that's what you like to trade, you want to be a little bit more lenient, 1%. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at something like... A, uh, riot or Mara or whatever, and you see one percent, it means it's not even gonna move. You know, it's nothing there. There's nothing to it. Yeah, yeah. let me let me see something. Yeah, scroll up, scroll all the way up to the filter, and there is there you go, minimum percent move. That's why usually I put the, the values here. No, on the, it's on the filter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here, oh, here. there you go, minimum percent move. So what's the minimum percent? No, 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 down, down, down. There you go, that one. So if you do their three, let's say 3% and click on apply, it's going to show you, yeah, and click on apply. Yeah, the filter, I don't, I don't trade without filter at all. You know, it's just not oh, even it. Okay, 3%. Okay, so yeah, if you scroll now, you'll see, look at the Baba one, but it's bid. I don't want that. And then C, it's in the money. I don't like those. Personally, I don't like those. Some people trade just those. You know, it depends on Yeah, deep, deep in the money. Okay. Yeah, deep in the money. But you want, again, you see Jumia, but it's on the bid. So if you scroll the way up, scroll the way up again to the filter, and then go to strike. That's the moneyness. There is a filter on the left. Strike, click, and oh. do OTM. And then hit apply. Apply. And okay. number is gonna and scroll down. Right now you got everything that is OTM, and then you could pick there the way. That's what I pick Mara. That's what I pick all that stuff that I trade. The no, no. So those are just, you know, GME. I picked GME. I sold it for 67%. It went 12 times the money. 
my mark. I know. Yeah, yeah, that one's a bit. Oh, so this one here? Yeah, that one, but it's in the bid. You see, that's that's when they close it out. Some people bought the 33 strike earlier. GME was at like 20. I, they yeah. made killer money today on that. I, I, I just regret selling it. I sold it on the first leg. It did one, two, three, three, and third leg was the biggest. Uh, so, yeah. You mean, oh, this, 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 okay. So what, if I, you know, what made you take this GME trade? Let's say you saw it, you know, right in the morning. What it's, I know GME came a lot probably today because everything was popping with the news. Uh, well, I just, there are other things, you know, that remember it's not just the sweeps alone. So what makes me take a sweep is technically what I know from before, which is I know GME, all Wall Street bets love it. Uh, Robin Hood love it. They've been buying it when it was like five or seven dollars or whatever. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it, it, it's squee, and a lot of people shorten it. You know, it got to two dollars. A lot of people shorten it, so it's prone to a short squeeze. The float is small. The market cap is two billion. Uh, it was yesterday. It was like one point two or one point three. So there's a lot of things that you put together, but I know them already. So once I see that sweep, I'm like, hold on, here we go. We got a short squeeze here, and then I'll go for it because yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was going to give me money for sure. I was looking for 20, 30%. It gave me 67. I was happy, but then it continued running until infinity. But again, still made profit. And that's, that's the trick. The trick yeah. Is, yeah. That's a trick. So typically you, know, you want to be green every day. So yeah. I know. So typically let's say if I see this, I'm in front of my computer, I see 349, you know, 40, well, this is 40 came up right, right away. Right. They, this is a bid. This is ask. I mean, this are bullish moves, right? Bid. Um, above, I don't see any below ask. That's a put. No, that's nothing. GME. I'm trying to see what with above ask. It's mostly below ask. Okay, let's say this one ask GME. I think they're selling put here. This one here, right? They're selling put because it's uh, popped up and ask. That's so not looks like put. that's not selling put. That's they're closing it out. No, those are uh, those are buying puts for to shorten. Hmm. Oh yeah, because it's ask. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Makes sense. Most likely, yeah. I mean, again, hmm. don't. A lot of times, what you notice is a lot of times it, a stock runs so much, and that's why you need to watch it real time. You know, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I try to do when I see something. So what's happening? So you will see nothing, right? And then you see GME, let's say calls, and then the stock starts going up, going up, going up, going up. Then you start, you see a couple sweeps, puts like a twenty, thirty thousand dollar here, forty thousand dollar there. It puts OTM puts on the ass, so they're betting it's gonna pull back. But guess what? It does not pull back. So guess yeah, what? Yeah, just see? keep. They close. You see them on the bid losing money right there. You see them cutting loss. Yeah, yeah. Like it is gonna, you know, it's gonna, you're gonna need to be your your eye is gonna become trained, and you will see how they how they go. You know. Yeah, now obviously I know I know these. I know what days are these, whatever. Expiration. I don't know if that has changed. Oh yeah, now it's changed. Okay, okay. But see that day still doesn't change. Remember I showed you the bug? Yeah, it's not showing it's not showing the one that you selected. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it, it shows I, I on fixed, I fixed the value thing. That one we didn't get to it yet, but it's right that it's gonna get fixed. Because uh, this whole thing, by the way, this whole study. It's technically the back test and the charts, but it's not ready yet. So really, we, we don't have a video demo for it. We don't have a how-to tutorial. I did not even advertise it much. I just just built there and it's sitting there waiting until the, the other ones are finished. Uh, it still works. I use it all the time. You see me, I post screenshots when I see something. So mm -hmm. I love the option chain there, you know, the option chain analysis or yeah, the yeah. option sweeps. So those two, that's what I use. The calculator is not great because it does not have IV. And you know, without IV, it's very hard. It's pretty much doing to do it for your calculator, uh, calculator uh, profit loss, pretty much based gotcha. on- Yeah, your, I'm not, I don't wanna look at, I don't need to all that. This is just- this yeah. And that's, yeah, the back test is there, but it's not built. I think, I think this good. is pretty cool. You wanna see if you wanna go that You're route. You're gonna see some cool stuff coming in. So just be, be uh, be patient. So in the next couple of days or so, you're going to mm. see, uh, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, this is great too. Uh, you can, uh, if, you, if you check that out, drop down so you can see, you can group by, yeah, you can do all by owner. That's group by owner. 
or you could uh, do buys by owner. You could do buys by owner, for example. You group all the buys by owner. So like, yeah, so that way you don't, now you see everybody who bought and how much they bought. Right, right, right. You know, so- I should, This is, I guess this is the day when they file like most of it, right? Yeah, you can click and it will open the, 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 the filing. The SEC oh, file. nice, nice. click nice, on the right nice, side, nice, it, will, nice. it will open it for you. But yeah, if you want to verify the data or anything, it's there. Mm. But uh, yeah, the timestamp is when it gets processed. Um, and then, yeah, they come in through the SEC right away. They get pushed into the system and they get processed. It used to be about every 15 seconds. Now they get processed every two seconds. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We catch it. But the trades usually, it's always lagging, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you sell it right now and you file it, it's going to take some time to print out. Right, that's right. So that's what it is. But there is the scanner is coming next soon. And the overview is going to have some pretty cool stuff. So that uh, we add in their earnings. Uh, we are in uh, next IPOs. We add in uh, Wall Street bets and uh, penny stocks and options on Reddit. Those are the biggest ones. We're adding which tickers are trending socially mm -hmm. there and the sentiment. If it's with the machine learning sentiment, which is if it's bullish or bearish. Okay. Uh, on that one, there is a new dashboard that's going to be released soon, which is a scanner. And mm -hmm. the first scan is going to be the anom anomaly detection with machine learning for uh, uh, price. Uh, action with volume mm -hmm. so yeah there are a lot of stuff that is changing on these things that's going to be released. got you there's a and watch list feature but yeah um, oh so this is the sector performance okay i see it yeah. what's coming down what's moving five day five months okay cool yeah. stuff here study obviously we have to select the ticker go tesla whatever yeah let's say sq yeah you can just click out if it will do it too if you click out but yeah Oh, okay, okay. I see. So I got this flow option leaders. Um, is it the leader option leader? Does it calculate it by money or is it calculated by what is it calculated by? What pick? Yeah, it's calculated by the biggest, pretty much. Uh, what do you call it? The the most and this is the uh, unusual option activity. So it's calculated by volume over open interest. These are the leaders. Hold on. So UOI is so volume. Snapchat, if you could see the Snapchat. Yeah. Volume. You said volume over what? Oh, Open over, interest. Oh, volume. So what does that mean? So if you have higher volume and more open interest? So if you have a higher volume and smaller open interest, that means it's unusual. Why? Well, because then you know for sure that, the, that those contracts were open. Yeah, yeah, so they haven't closed it out yet. Okay. Yeah, and if you look at this thing, look at Snapchat there. It just sank today, and then it's getting sixteen DTEs there. You see the the top top sellers are sixteen days. Yeah. Uh, you have that one, and you have space. These are worth watching. Guess what's going on with Snapchat? Where there is uh, earnings coming. Ah, okay, okay. So that in there is yeah, so potentially an earning play there. So again, these are this, and what is going on with space? Same thing, and it's squeezed. I think space. Oh, they. Oh man, we. Oh, open space, open space. Wow, we missed it. We missed it. Oh my God, it just jumped from twenty-eight to thirty-two after hour. Uh, what's uh, wait? What? What oh. do you mean? Open, open the chart. You mean? Yeah, open the chart. This. Yeah, this is what we missed. Absolutely insane. I mean, if you just have the information like that, you know what you could you could make a killing. Um, but yeah. Holy shit! It jumped to yeah. 30. You see, you see that? That's what I'm telling you. When they open a lot of contracts like that, that's why the feature is important. The way it's set up is because you want to see the ones that are open. You don't want to see just what's going on. You know what I can? Or what? what who spent what? That's not that important. You want to see who spent to open. Mm. But where is it telling you if it, they opened it or not? Oh, because it's obviously green calls and puts. Okay, okay. No, that's not it. Because Wait. you need to understand um, if what is open interest? Open interest are contracts that are being held at the start of the day that are not closed yet. Let's say space has you see one one seven four one, right? You see one one four seven four one? Yeah. And one four one. Uh, it could be that one hundred forty one contracts closed out today how much is left 11741 minus 11 minus 141 that's 11600 so you're looking at 1100 11600 contracts at least that were open just today 
in the call side, 16 BTE, which is pretty close, with a 34 strike. And guess where is where is space now? 32 strike already. Oh shoot, that's a see good. how good that is. You so, see how good that, that so, so, is? so okay, okay. This is if I got this. So volume is still people holding. That's the number they're holding as of today, right? Yep. Okay, let me write off. Absolutely uh, sad because there is there was a gap. If I saw those and there was a gap, I would have made a killing because there isn't a chart, a big gap to 32. And okay. It's just that. So so this is as of every day, like because of the date last in whatever. So there are 21,053 and they only close 152. Contracts? Is yeah, so open interest, open interest is being held. So we don't know what they're doing with it. They close it, they don't close it because they don't report until the next day, right? Okay, so okay, open so interest does not up update real time. That's the Oprah rules, the option so that's, thing. Uh, got you, got you. Held you know what I mean? So we don't so, know, but the volume is today. That's today's volume. So if, what, if, the, if the volume is much larger than what people are holding, guess what's <laughs> left? They it's open bullish. It. It's bullish, yeah, very bullish. Oh my God. Whether it's bullish or it's bearish for... Yeah, yeah. NTC or uh, Square and NTC and all that stuff. Like NTC, look at that. Look at that. I shorted it on the, uh, the open. NTC had a lot of puts open. A lot of puts open. Yeah, yeah. Though this is interesting. So this feeds in automatically as as it comes into. No, into it the... updates every fifteen minutes or so. So I need to put it there. Hold on, I need to. I'll add it actually right now. I'm I'm in the code, so, so that way people don't think uh, because you know it's even if you follow it, chase it. First of all, real time, it's not available because uh, I don't know. A second. I don't have that. I don't have that API for real time. Just crazy option for meaning just all options, right? Mm -hmm. And I can't. Um, and I have access to the API, but it's like they charge me each time I ping it. You know, so it's mm -hmm. kind of like it's a per requesting. So wait, wait, wait. There so yet, but we will make it better eventually. So between option leader and and what's here is different. Unusual flow is different. Those are sweeps. That's one order. You see, each one of those is one person buying that stuff. On the other one, it's the overall option market on the oh, two day shit. order. Yeah. The, so, but they okay. go hand in hand. If you see something there, you go over there and you see that everybody and their mama is buying the same thing. Hey. Look at look at space now. You know. Hold what I mean? on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me get this noted out. So on the US screen here, it's only one order, right? Like one person buying it. As yeah, a sweep, uh, right? option flow. Those are transactions by one person, one company, one bank, whatever. One okay, one person. Okay, one person, one bank, whatever the entity is. It's one yeah, entity. one person or institute. Okay. And then here, option leader, it's everyone and whoever is just buying all day. This is all day calculation, right? Yep. Oh, shit. Wow, wow, wow. So, so this is real time? Unusual flow, this is real time or no? Oh, uh, which one? Option flow? Yeah, that's everything on that dashboard. That's pretty much. No, 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 no. On the, on the right hand side, upper right hand Yeah, that's real time. Yeah, that's you'll see that one shows up before it shows up even on the, on the table. Underneath. Okay, 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 okay. That's it's what I'm saying. second or so, you know, it hits the database. That server is biased one second quicker. So mm -hmm. you'll see it on unusual flow before you actually see it on the option flow table by a second glitch or whatever. But yeah. Okay, so that one and then this one is just, uh, you say 15 minutes or more? Uh, about 15 minutes, yeah. And then let me make a note then option. Yeah, I'm making, I'm actually adding a note there. So on the next deploy, you'll see it. On the right side, it will tell you how long it takes. So I'm, option I'm, leaders. So this is so about fifteen, about fifteen minutes. Okay, I mean that's it's still good time. You know, nothing gonna move drastically in fifteen minutes. Right. I mean, most people, you know, by by fifteen, but but once you get the first update, you know, the nine thirty to nine forty five, then you pretty much get an idea where the money is being spent. You could still day trade it, you know, because then you'd be like, okay, well, that's when people. <laughs> This is where the money is going for the first 15 minutes of the market. Let me get in on this. Oh, so you or typically not. look at it in the first. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense because that's when the order comes No, no, no. There, is, there are guys who do that. I, I, I mean, in the first minute, usually I already made my first trade. But there are people who, who, who like, um, most people that I, I noticed actually recently, most people in using my app, 
they say they don't trade the first few minutes. They wait 15, 30 minutes, then they trade. But yeah, I like to trade the first minute. I know what it usually I'm I'm very accurate on the first minute, you know. That's what I make most of the money. Got it, got it. So if you see something like that, you just get in right away. Okay, chart analysis. Oh, that's with the, oh, nice, I like this. So that's with any tick, oh, I just have to input the ticker, okay. Also, you can see it's delayed, it's, um, that's, you know, it's courtesy of TradingView, that widget, chart analysis. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, but it's like 15 minutes delayed data, but if you click on it, it tells you that on the top right, that's pretty much what I'm doing here. Right got now, it. Adding, adding it to the other one, but yeah, we're gonna get, eventually we're gonna get the, the real time, but first let's get the product in, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we're typically, in. if you see something that hits exactly at 9.30 on one of, on this section here, what would you suggest? You look at obviously that bid ask, whatever and the price and expiration, you know, or do you just wait to analyze it? Yeah, I, I go right away to the chart and analyze it. And that's by the way, where I, uh, there is another product lined up when someone else is working on, on the backend for it, which is signals. And what signals is gonna do, is gonna check all these things that I check for manually that work. Oh, okay? nice. And what it's gonna do is gonna send a signal to the premium room signals, it's on Discord. I created it. We're waiting for the guy to finish though. And then it's gonna, and then when we have the watch list, it's gonna send it SMS, WhatsApp, or email based on what you choose. And it could send you a signal or desktop notification. And the signal is gonna check for you the TA, the squeeze, the relative volume, is there news or not, all these things together before it bug, bugs you and tell you, hey, take a look at this. You, you could make money, you know, versus just everything flowing all the time, which is great too. But, you know, um, I don't have time, you know, like I'm missing out. Like I missed out on space. Space, that, that's a lot of profit there. I, yeah. And I missed out on GME too. I had yeah, to I missed out on GME. I wasn't actually trading anything at all. I was actually out most of the day for meetings. I wasn't either, you know, I just, I, I literally bought it and sold it in like two minutes. Because <laughs> I, needed to, I needed to go offline, but I couldn't miss out on the move. So I just bought it, it moved. And I'm like, okay, it's about to pull back. I'm out, you know? Uh, got you, got you. So, so when, you, was... when you do this kind of trade, do you typically look at what minute of chart? One minute, two minute? What do you look at? Yeah, I do. Uh, at the same time, I have three screens, but I, I do one, five, 15, 30, one hour, four hours. And the daily. These are the ones I trade. But uh, the ones I look at the most, I look at for like where it's gonna, for the target, I look at the 15, and the one hour for the targets. And then mm -hmm. for my entry, I look at the one minute and for the short term stop loss, I look at the five. So it's designed in a way where I lose less, but I can hold more. So my target is on the 15 to one hour. My stop loss is more volatile, it's closer. So that way, a lot of times I just buy and I'll get out right away because if it hits my stop loss, I'm up. And my stop loss usually is like 10%, 15%, you know, something like small. Uh, so wait, you're saying, if I understood correctly, if you see one of these flow, you look, obviously I have 15, five that I typically look at, you know, I look 15 minutes for my trend and then entry for, you know, two minutes, five minutes, whatever, if I want to hold it longer. But if you want to swing it out, do you look at, obviously look at daily and, and, and whatnot, right? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. But I just, you know, I check very fast and that is a problem because... Well, uh, first of all, I'm also coding and I'm managing two dev teams and I'm doing all this madness. So, I'm, you know, my attention is not there. And that's and, and, and also it's it's labor intensive. I'm tired. I've yeah. been doing this for eight years. I'm tired of scrolling, killing my eyes through a million charts. So, know, that's, know, know. you know, so signals is pretty much going to give you that into your hands. It's going to do all everything that traders check for, but it's just going to be an algo that actually is going to um, execute the same the same way every time, meaning the day you're hangover or you didn't sleep well yeah, or yeah, something, yeah. or you fought with the with your wife or whatever, it's still gonna do well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah, that's that, usually that's when we awesome. mess up. You know, that's when you mess up. You're emotionally not right, and you decide, hey, no, I'm good, I'm gonna trade. And then you make a mistake or you hold too long, things like that. So these things can be avoided if your eyes are are wide open or if you have the mm -hmm. tools that do that for you. 
Wait, one thing I just noticed says 457. How does something come in at so late? Uh, those were missed probably and got processed in the backlog later on. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. cool. Uh, those, if you want the timestamp for those, then you can open VSTO. Uh, oh, I would say option chain. No, option chain doesn't have that. So it'll be like VSTO timestamp, which actually I want to take a look at it too. I want to know if it's if it's my vendor that's doing it or if it's, or if they just, or if the Opera, they came in late. So let me see, 457, one second, one second, let me see. So that's strike 35, 126. Let's see, 126, oh, 128, 128. Yeah, I'm not wearing my glasses. 128, and that's 35 strike. I wanna know actually, now that you're showing it. Um, so 35. Yeah, sometimes I see this, I'm like, wait, well, what's going on here? And it doesn't look- Yeah, good. yeah, they, they had issues with Oprah. Like the vendor had issues with Oprah before. And <laughs> it's, yeah, and the Oprah, they all send stuff. You know, Oprah, they have like, their APIs and stuff. Everything is like super outdated. You know, that's super, yeah, super the, typically, that's typically, Anything, you know, with regulators. Exactly. Yeah. Anyone who doesn't have competition is outdated. That's right. FINRA, I'm trying to get us the dark pools. It's from FINRA. It's all like, like really bad. And I figured it out finally. And guess what now? They don't have prices. So I need to get the timestamp and go match it to the price on the chart. Mm. So I found the dark pools, by the way. I remember you mentioned it. Everybody may ask for I mean, life support always uh, when people come and ask, they ask if we have dark pools. You know, I so know. I know, I don't know where black box gets it from. You know, the black box stocks, I don't know where they get it from. Their one has the, like the timestamp, the, the dates, the- No, yeah, they all have the timestamp. That's not even the thing, but uh, can you go all the way right? See the quantity of those, those contracts that came last, let's check them out all yeah. the way to the right side. Yeah, scroll. You know, you can customize which fields you want to see, right? Oh yeah, it's a lot of stuff I don't want to see, so- No, if, yeah, if you see, click here. Yeah. If you click there, you can edit those things, yeah. So contracts for 50, great, I found them. Uh, so guess what? It's not my vendor, it's Oprah. Here, here you go, I'll send them to you. Hold on. I used to blame it on the app actually at some point and it's not even the app and people will tell me, oh, when are you gonna fix this? Uh, I guess not, uh, but yeah, check, um, check uh, options channel. Are you here? You mean option? Oh, yeah, just to trade, the, you know, the option, the Discord option channel. Oh, can't... okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let you me... see that? If you open it, it's 457. Now, I, I am so glad because now I can uh, I can post it and then tag everybody there to take a look. Here, let's do premium instead. Okay, just... you said, uh, okay, I'm on Discord. Which channel? The... Uh, options. Um, Options, okay, I see it. Oh, I see it. Okay, okay, okay. So that's the time they bought in. Okay, okay. I see, oh yeah, my you God. You see that? I mean, it's market is closed. It's not that they bought in, it's that Oprah did not process them on time. Until, yeah, I see it. I see the time, yeah, That's all it is. They didn't, yeah, they missed it. They missed it. And then when they did the balance check at the end of the day to close shop, they figured out those are missing. Let's push them out now. Got it, got it, got it. All right, that, that makes sense. Now I got a very clear sense. I'm gonna keep repeating and reviewing um, and see where how thing goes with this one. Um, any, so, oh, I think on Discord, you were saying something about if someone wanted to add your bot to their, because one of my friends, I, I showed him like what we we're doing. And he's like, hey, you know, how do we add it to, you know, my discord or whatever if i wanted to i was like i have to ask the guy um see if you if you guys added so is then how much does it have to pay or anything well the bot just the trade ui bot that you see it has graph it has you know the graphs and stuff it's not like it doesn't have flow or anything right uh, oh okay 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 yeah and that's free but it's just it's blocked by uh discord because we launched it and in one month it hit 100 servers uh, a little over a month, but it hit 100 servers. And then they asked me for like my driver license and all these things. They're like, who's in the team, blah, blah, blah. Because you, you can collect data with these bots, you know? So they're like, who uses the data, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, they're verifying my, my stuff. 
and it's just taking forever after New Year's. I'm still waiting, so I just open another ticket. So as soon as that's resolved and they allow the bot, then I'll be able to offer it again. It's right now, I, you know, no one can install it because Discord blocked it pretty much. Okay, okay. And and this analyst play channel, I know it's been quite pretty t- pretty you know, for a while, but this is mostly penny stocks or is it just everything? No, he posts everything. So yeah, check it out. This guy has good performance. It's a guy, it's not an automated thing. Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, I think he looks like he's a part of a couple other discord. He is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he sends to all of them the same stuff and it looks like, you know, Mm -hmm. I looked at his performance. It looked like I, I hired someone else one month before and they did not do very well. Nobody liked them too. And I'm just- Who is it, Melfer? Melfer? Yeah, yeah. I had a lot of complaints about him, so he had to go. So now we have this guy as a trial, and I already had three people who profited from this guy, and they, they're like, oh, who's this guy? I'm like, uh, yeah, he's a new guy doing this and that, and they're like, oh, thank you. Th- th- tell him thank you for the profits. I'm like, yeah, you can, when, when we close the channel, you can pay the premium membership for it uh, monthly. You know, that's how you thank him for his profit. But, <laughs> but that's yeah. pretty much what it is. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, yeah, you know, he's, again, you know, it's, it takes, that's the thing. It takes, uh, if you want the room to be working well, mm-hmm. it takes, uh, where do you, of people to be active, you know, it's kind I of know. like, crowd where, where do you usually put your call outs? If you take a trade or whatever, it's still on this. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't have time. I, I get in, I get out very fast. And sometimes oh, okay, I, okay. Yeah. If it's something long, I'll say, I'll tell it like volunteer. I, I was yapping about it for five when it was, you know, 10, when it was 11, when it dropped mm-hmm. to 9, when it touched 8, nobody really technically cared until it started going up again. And then, you know, I'm, I, I alerted it. I alerted a lot of stuff. I alerted GME. Some people start this earlier, GME, you know. I mean, I will tell yeah, you. Yeah, I missed that one. I was outside. I wasn't looking at my chart. And I said, you know. I don't I don't have time to do like, hey, enter here, get it back. I used to do that before for like a monthly fee. And I had a bunch of people and stuff. But it's just too much of a hassle. Uh, you know, the market started going down, then you can't, they can't buy stock anymore, then you can't send them alerts. It's just a hassle. And it's, you know, right now I don't have time, but you know, it just got it, got it. All right, no, man, thank you. You'll, very get, much. you'll get the best alerts. Don't worry, you're going to get the best alerts through the signal system. That's going to be. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, you know, worried as long as I know when. See, my only thing, let's say, you know, I'm right now, I'm free, I'm not doing much. Um, you know, if I go back to banking again, you know how crazy life it is. Um, yeah. then I wouldn't have time to look at. So what did you do with banking? Uh, I wasn't, I told you, I, I was in risk management for almost 12 years. I, I used to work for the Fed, Goldman, JP, Deutsche Bank, uh, RBC. I worked for all the big guys, um, pro- mostly within CCAR. Remember CCAR, I told you? Mm-hmm. CCAR, um, stress testing, um, a lot of the work from uh, project side, program side. Um, help them a lot of the control spacing kind of project manager you know a lot of these processes yeah yeah so you know I know how these freaking banks stress tests could be important and crazy at times you know Um, so that's what I did so now if I go back to work it will probably take up a lot of my time so if you have alerting yeah this is gonna be gonna be very good alerting not just alerting i mean it's been it's been in the pipeline for a while right now for that reason because is it gonna be showing on the screen and on the phones as well or is it just gonna be on the screen here yeah it's gonna be under signals so there is a scanner i'm, I'm actually working on it right now and then just fixing some tweaks and stuff but the backends are all built like the algorithm is built the scanner is built it's pretty much putting it onto the app and which one goes first and mm-hmm. I have like four things that, that I want to, to ship out. But anyways, it's going to be, at the, at the start, it's going to be part of the scanner feature. So the scanner feature is going to have uh, uh, volume price anomalies with AI at first. And then after that, it's going to have signals right after that, right? And then after that, it's going to have pre-market. It's going to have after hours. So these are lists that pretty much the algos are running all the time and then figuring out what is what could be potentially good with higher ads of success and then it will be pre- logging them there and it will be also logging them into a database for uh, so that we can later on back test and have performance and see what performed better and what, you know things like that um so this is the scanner was supposed to go out tonight i don't know at this point it's already 8 p.m but you know it's like uh, 
Um, I the overview I have a new overview ready. Probably mm -hmm. ship it out that I just received completed, and then you know the back end is completed. So again, it's the thing is it's like I'm the maestro of everything. So if I don't work, they don't go out. But at the same time, I can't just give it to whomever I hire to do code. Right, right, no, and help out can. because this then they're gonna stuff. have access to they're gonna have access to the data. Everything, they're gonna have yeah. access to the law. Yeah, and I can't do that. You know, especially everything is remote. So I don't, you know. I just hire contractors and I give them specific things. Build me this, that does this, this, that. Here is your API. Here is your test key. Here is your test database. And they build it. Then I verify the data. Then I take it. Like now I told you, I have um, stats on uh, options. So like you could click on Apple and it will tell you Apple calls uh, OTMs that, that are plus 3% of the 3% uh, expected move uh, perform uh, they profit 90% of the time. That's it. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. So I have all that stuff. I have all the data. Now it needs to be built in in the front end. But then for, for me to pass it to someone to build just that piece of front end, I need to tell them what to do. Like I tell them, hey, write this, use this language, use that language. I wanted to do this. You know what I mean? So it's like, Right, it's right, right. You have to demand it and a lot of processes. Like I'll need a pro I need three project managers if we want to move faster. <laughs> but I yeah. mean, if you, hey, if you need a project manager, I could do it. Yeah. Believe me, I, I built a lot of systems for banks, so I could help you do this. And I see a lot of the stuff and how I want to do it. If they could code it out, I could definitely, you know, I'm free right now. If you want to pay me something, whatever, right now I'm home. I'm, I don't trade really that much. I see very specific trades. I probably do one or two trades a day. And I make sure I win, you know, at least few percent. Now my target is, you know, doing about, you know, twenty to thirty percent. I'm good with it. But sometimes things run a couple of hundred percent, and I'm like, what the fuck, you know? I just wake yeah. up. So if you need a PM to run some of the stuff, good for you know. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, right now, uh, immediately, like right now, the thing is. <laughs> Everything is like everything that's being worked on, right? Up until trade UI pro plan, everything there and some other stuff. It's literally like either half built or in QA or needs a front end. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like yeah, I'm staring yeah. at the list right now. I have seven things I'm looking at. And they're gotcha. all like almost ready, but not ready. And you know, almost ready. But it's like ready to deploy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then that well, it's not really nine, 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 some of them are halfway done, but it's mm. like they're already engaged on that stuff. And once all of that is out, mm -hmm. then I'd be able to start to figure out. I have another guy, actually, one of the yearly members, he just joined from Chicago. He was working for the CA, CME mm -hmm. as a developer, and he wants to join too. And I have like a bunch of people who reached out and, you know, I just, but it's just like, um, you know, right now it's like, I have to get, I don't have time to, to go and do all these things i just need these 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 things running especially signals that's gonna make me close the chart because i would put it to bed you know i'll just that's it because signals it. is gonna do all these things it checks your ta it checks your squeezes it checks your bollingers it checks all the volume the r vol the atr is it too extended for the atr or not because i like to trade things that are still within the atr so that yeah. way they have room to go if it's already way extended above the extended yeah it doesn't it doesn't make sense it, it well, I mean, statistically speaking over time you're gonna get wrecked but if you do it a couple times maybe gme is gonna fly right but yeah. every day you're gonna do tesla nvidia you're gonna do facebook you're gonna do this you're gonna do that you, you keep buying calls on extended etr that pullback is gonna crush crush your money you know so i know i know i know i know so these are things that you know that's why it takes labor to have good trades which in turn <laughs> takes time which in turn we're trying to spend a lot more time that hopefully this stuff is going to work out exactly as anticipated or better so that way we don't have to spend that time we could just take trades you know based on our experience and based on what the the algo is going to throw us got you now one more thing so this one the disck this looks like a debit spread as they looks like they buying calls and they're buying puts both at the same time this is a big trade looks like it if you see my screen on the left I mean, on the right top, 3,003, the same quantity. Looks like this is a debit spread. Yeah, the head. spreads are not there yet. So, I mean, spreads, I mean, it's not a debit spread if it's calls and puts, right? So that's going to be... Like a shadow. Be a straddle, shadow. A straddle. Yeah, a straddle. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah, the song Strangle. I mean, I, I catch spreads all the time. I think all they're doing have... Strangle. Yeah, they're doing Strangle on this. Either move. I think earning play, something with that. That looks like an earning play. Yeah, and those do very well as well, too. But, you know, it's like, is this, there is so much opportunity and then there is, you just want to focus on some of them. Right now, I'm focusing on the, the movers um, and then eventually we'll work on other strategies. Like uh, there is a dashboard, but it's way, you know, maybe five months from now or whatever. It's not something I'm planning to bring anytime soon, but it's a Theta kind of Theta, theta profit dashboard, which gives you plays that will earn you money over time with less volatility for people who like to just sell, you know, I used yeah, to sell yeah. before when I started, I used to sell. That's all I did. I sold, I sold like really crazy spreads that always expired, you know, like the, not always expired, but you know, that you make your 90% or whatever after 30 days and you, you make back, you know, you, 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 you say you buy it back like 10% cheaper, you make 90% profit or whatever, but then yeah, it's yeah. too slow. And I don't have to be honest with you, capital like that, you know, I don't have like a million dollars where I can, just sit around and wait so i can make a few peanuts right so yeah, yeah. It, it depends on you know on your style but so yeah. i know you also you always refer look at the move look at the move so this is the expected move or is it that's what they're yeah, the expected move technically is the difference between the 28 and 35 right so the oh, difference okay they'll calculate that okay okay that's just it. yeah that's something no one else has and I, I think it's stupid not to have it because it gives you an idea of what is expected from the stock to do based on those OTMs, you know? I mean, it's just that, mm -hmm. that's what it is. Uh, and it, again, works very well. If it's something is plus 25%, that VSTO, and it's, let's say, if it's a big uh, order, uh, mm -hmm. I can promise you if you buy and your target is to make 20% or 30%, you know, mm -hmm. and you buy it, you're going to make 20% easily because, you know, on options, if the stock moves 25%, that's, that's a lot. That's yeah. thousand percent. But you, you know, oh, you so this is get... wait, wait, wait. So this is a stock move, not. Oh yeah, that's not the stock the... move. Oh, that's a stock move, not the oh. option move. Okay, okay. No, no option move there. That's stock move. So stock move, anything above two percent, three percent, technically on a monthly, is gonna give you about twenty percent and give you fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all you need. That's all you need. I mean, you're gonna, you know, you be, you do a couple of trades, you're done for the day. You know, where you don't need to sit around the whole day watching, and you know. <clears throat> And that's pretty much where this, this whole concept comes from. If, the, if people are betting it's going to move 40%, I don't need to wait until it moves 40%. I I'm need just going to take 5%, the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big, that's a big strike to... Talking about to risk management, price. that's what it is. You know, it's pretty much mm -hmm. just lowering your risk by making sure. And technically what you do is you scale those positions. So if instead of going, I don't know, 20K or 10K or whatever on... on you know, on something and you have to wait for it or like a $1,000 trade and you're going to wait for it. I don't know, like four months uh, for a month. Yeah. Like, a, and you're trying to make a thousand into five or four instead mm -hmm. you can put 5k and you make it 20% immediately there, which is double of, of the thousand dollar that you started with initially. And you make it in a few minutes. Yeah, 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 I know. So that's why I wanted to see this all came in at the right time. Anyways, uh, and then obviously these are just chart based, you know, how you showed me the thing is just uh, how many days has been in squeeze before it uh, fired. So right? squeeze Keltner, yeah, Keltner inside Bollinger's with a very squeezed uh, volatility. That's mm -hmm. what that is. You scroll down, you'll see consolidation on a 2.5% channel. So usually if the stock is bam, 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 up and down, up and down in a 2.5% tight channel mm -hmm. goes up two percent goes down two percent goes up then it's consolidating if it's breaking out it's breaking out that's a new one coming out of squeeze if it's if you look at uh, iyr for example you're gonna see that it was squeezed and maybe that's the first day it popped so sometimes they continue on a trend so multiple days yeah yeah so a lot of times they continue so, so this is you said was uh a Kettner. And what, what else? Kettner versus over... Kettner, that's when pretty much the Kettner cha channel crosses inside the Bollinger channel. Oh, there, okay, there. Kettner channel crosses. Okay, crosses into Bollinger. Okay, I know you sent me a video. I'm going to look at that. I haven't had Yeah, time. just look it up. I mean, you know, it, 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 it makes sense. And usually what it is really is that the price is not moving. Why is the price not moving? That's what it is. It's price not moving. Why is it stuck? Well, it's stuck in, in anticipation of something because usually stocks go up and down. Yeah. 
look at Procter Gamble, 18 days. Damn, that's been squeezing for a sh- long time. Yeah, there are, there are earnings coming, so earnings season is going to come. So a lot of them squeeze before earnings. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think that covers, you know, most of what I wanted to know. Thank you very much for your time. You know, appreciate it. And we'll see. Oh, my God, look at this put flow. There's no put flow at all. What is this? What the hell this is? Oh, is it? Is it by ticker or is it for the day? The bullish sentiment for you today? You have the VSTO as a ticker. Oh, is it whatever is the ticker is? That's the sentiment. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that thing that was not updated for like since we opened. So if you find a bug, let me know. I don't remember. No, so if I clear it, that gives you the overall sentiments, right? Yeah, the overall based on what you have filtered there, yeah. I don't have any filters here. No filters. It's, oh, you it's don't clear. have uh, VC, VC. Yeah, yeah. Now it's back to normal. It's back to overall market sentiments. Yeah. Gotcha. And then uh, click on apply. Oh, no. You're fine. You're fine. Never mind. Never mind. No, I thought uh, VSTO. I'm like, why is it showing VSTO first? It's more. No, I removed I, it. I removed it. I just remembered that they, it has that glitch from yep. uh, Oprah. But yeah. Okay. All right. Got it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, man. Have a good night. Talk later. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.